Hi, it's Adam with Web Starts, and today I'm going to show you how to build a website for your wedding just like this one we're looking at here. Now let me get started and show you exactly how I put this together. The first thing you'll do is go over to webstarts.com and sign up for an account. You can do that by quickly entering your full name and your email address. Once you've done that, go ahead and choose a password. And then go ahead and enter your phone number. Click sign up. And then you'll choose a design. So for this demonstration, I've chosen this hot pink design, but there's several designs that look like they could be easily altered into a wedding website. So I encourage you to sort through those. Choose a subdomain for your site that can be whatever's available and whatever you want your site to be called .webstarts.com. So I chose website1.webstarts.com just for demonstration purposes and then I click continue. Don't forget you can also add your own unique domain name so you can say something like billyandcassie.com and all that requires is for you to upgrade to a Pro Plus account which you can do by clicking this button at any time. But let's go ahead and jump right in and edit our wedding website. I'm going to click on the edit site link and now I'm able to edit my page. Now this is called the page editor view and you can see that a help video slides in from the top in case you need more help while you're getting started with your site. But for the moment I'm going to go ahead and close that and get that out of, my, out of the way. Over here on the left side of the page we have the featured apps panel and I'm going to remove that as well by clicking the X. So the first thing that I'm going to do is a little bit of teardown on this design. For example, I don't want that gal in there, so all I do is I click on the image and I hit the delete key on my keyboard. You can also delete objects by selecting them, clicking on them, and hitting the little red X next to them. So the next thing that I want to do is upload the photo of the, the folks that are going to get married and I do that by clicking on the insert image icon and then I locate that photo I want to upload on my local machine just like that and uh, oops I'm going to actually want to resize that so let me do that again I'm going to choose to resize that image because it's bigger than my page I want it to be the same width as my page. Now I double click on that and boom, my photo is inserted directly into my page. And now I can drag and drop that in the place where that other photo was. And sometimes it can be, uh, you know, a little bit of work to get things to line up perfectly. I encourage you to use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move objects one pixel at a time. I'm going to go ahead and continue with this teardown because I don't want any of this information in here. It's not pertinent to my website design. So I'm just going to continue to remove that. And I'm even going to remove this uh, light pink backdrop. So now I've got my photo. I've got a lot of the design. I don't want this phone number up here. I'm going to remove that. It's always a good idea to save your changes at any time by clicking the save button uh, or icon up in the top left. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the names of my people who are getting married and then I select that uh, uh, text and I'm going to add a special font to it. So I clicked uh, add more fonts and then I'm going to add a font called Great Vibes. So I've got to find that here sorted alphabetically in case you know the name of the font that you want to use. I'm going to use Great Vibes. I'm going to apply the Great Vibes font just like that and I want to increase the size of my font a little bit so that looks great. And now one of the things that I did that was kind of a nice touch is I added a little shadow to my font so I clicked on this little cog with the font selected and then I just nudged this shadow over one pixel. Now I want my uh, title there to really pop, so I'm going to change the color to white as opposed to pink. 
And so, boom, we have the Billy and Cassie thing. Now, let me show you how I did the area that has all the information about the wedding. I added a box. I drug that over here. And then I position it like that. I filled that up with black. I removed the border. These are all little handy features. I nudged that over just a little bit with my arrow key. And then also down here at the bottom, I have to stretch that a little bit more. And then I clicked on this little green icon here to add some transparency so that you could kind of see through that box. I'm going to save my changes at this point. Then I went ahead and I added the information for the wedding. And I did that by clicking the text box or insert text icon. I changed the text color to white. And then I began to enter my information. Okay, so I've entered in all the information for the event and I want to center that. So I'm going to click on format and then I click on center. And uh, here I can adjust the font size. I want to increase it a little bit up to, uh, let's see, 16 is a little big. I want to go back down to 14. Whoops. Got to select my text first. Go down to 14 and then just align that up. And we're pretty much done. The only thing that I did on the other design is I added a little part here. Actually, I put this up here. I put the part where you're cordially invited. Let's see how I use those guidelines to get things centered. I put the part where you're cordially invited up here at the top. Then I go ahead and I stretch that the full length of my page. Change the color over here to white. And then I centered that text. And you can add a little shadow to that if you, if you want. Give it a little depth. And that looks great. So I'm going to go ahead and see about adding some shadow to... Oops, to this as well. Now I just save my changes. And then I have a couple extra pages on this site that I'm not going to use. They're still not updated with the um, look of the home page. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete those. I'm not going to use the contact or about page for uh, this website. So one more save. I take a look at my site. There it is. My wedding site completely done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it to be informative. Don't forget you can build your own wedding website at webstarts.com for free. Just go there and check it out. And don't forget to subscribe to the Webstarts channel to see lots of helpful videos with uh, tips and tricks on how you can design any website for any business.